Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to the Quest Golf Academy and it's another skills test. So I'm gonna be doing loads of these over the year to try and improve my own game and also to hopefully give you guys a little bit more of an understanding on how you can better practice and how you can make sure that your practice actually converts over to the golf course as well, which is always one of the most difficult things to do. Now what I've done here is I've set up a skills test which is very much focused on my wedge play. Now my wedge play, and I imagine most people's wedge play, isn't as good as it could be. I'm not gonna say as it should be because it's very much predicated on how much practice you stick in. But I'm gonna put a lot more practice into my wedges this year to try and make it one of my strengths, not just around the green where I'm normally pretty good, but also for the slightly longer pitches as well. So what I've done here is I've set up a test 10 shots, 10 stations, one shot at each station, and very much random yardages. So I have to swap clubs every single time and play lots of different types of shot. Um, I'm making this particular test very simple. It's only 10 shots, and with these skills tests, you get five points for the center ring, then three, then one. I need to get 100 points which is impossible because the top score is five and I've got 10 stations. I need to get 50 points. <laughs> it wouldn't have been as simple as I wanted there, would it? And I'm gonna keep doing this test throughout the year until I manage to achieve that target. It is as simple as that. So I wanna try and get as high a score as I can, but I'm very much gonna be geared towards trying to get that perfect score throughout the year. So the first shot is 100 yards, so 100 yards and straight away, that's a little bit of an awkward distance. So my 52 degree wedge, pretty much half a swing goes 95. So I'm just gonna give it that little bit more, just that little bit more. Pop me wedge, oh, this is a bit awkward. I'll pop me wedges down. First shot, 100 yards, slightly awkward distance for me this. Um, 95 yards is pretty much half of my gap wedge. So I'm gonna have to, well, just give this a tiny, tiny bit more here. So I'm gonna go about three quarter swing, but just keep that pace nice and smooth. Struck it pretty well. Have I got the distance right? Yes. All right, that's a good start. That's a, well, <laughs> it's a good start. Again, that's pretty much a perfect start. So what's up next? 65, so the way I've structured this is just jumping around. And the whole point of this is so I can score myself and I'm not just standing there hitting the same shot after the same shot. There is a time for block practice, but seeing how good I really am with my wedges, that is not the place for block practice. This is all about just trying to get into that scoring zone. Uh, 65 yards, okay. So I'm gonna go lob wedge, and 65 yards is pretty much gonna be half a shot here, half a swing with my lob wedge. I almost feel like I pulled that a bit. Sit down. Ooh, yeah, just slightly. That wasn't my best swing. I struck it all right, but a wee bit pulley. But five points again, that's what I need to be doing. 80 yards. Again, slightly awkward distance. Half a swing with my sand wedge. That's 85 yards. So I'm just gonna have to dial this back very slightly. I'm gonna grip a little bit further down the grip give myself less potential power. Have I judged it right? Go on, skip, yes. All right, perfect start so far. And you can see here, even though it's in the five, it's certainly not stiff yet to the flag, so that's something I may need to work on. You can actually tighten uh, the loops on the FSX software as well to actually make that middle target smaller, which might be something I'll look into once I actually complete this perfectly. Now, 115 yards, again, awkward distance, this one. So 120 is pretty much half my pitching wedge. So I'm gonna have to take just a touch off this, just a touch. I've not struck that very well. Go on, skip for me, big skip. Go on, run, ah, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Just didn't strike it. Did not strike it. Awkward distance, that. So, first thing that I've learned, 115 yards. That is a distance that really does confuse me. 60 yards. I'm gonna go back to my lob wedge here. 
So again, I just need to take a little bit off this. Yeah, it's pretty good again. So those shorter distances, that's actually something that I seem to have improved upon massively um, over the last few weeks, because it's certainly in a situation like this, or a closed situation into a simulator, to actually judge the distance without seeing the target is something I do struggle with. So I'm really happy about how that's improving. I'll tell you what, that three pointer could cost me then 85. So this is half a swing with my sand wedge. Stay, stay, oh, go, 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 ah. I was thinking I'd maybe overdone that one. That little speech that I just gave about controlling distances really well, you can ignore that. <laughs> uh, 95, right. Now this is up to my gap wedge. I think this is probably my favorite distance. I'd be very surprised if I don't get this one close. That is one distance that if I get it on the course, I'm so happy that I get it on the course because I, I kind of know that one. I'm really in tune with that swing and that shot just because it's something I've probably practiced you know, more than any. 110, now this is awkward again. Is this gonna be a little half a flick with a wedge or am I gonna go, I'm gonna stick with my gap wedge actually. This is pretty much gonna be a three quarter to full shot here. Struck it well, is the distance right? Go, no it's not, short. Oh no, it's oh, uh, short. So I need to have a look at that as well. So it's around that 115, 110 yard distance that I seem to be having a bit of a problem with here. 80 yards, and a slightly awkward one again. So I need to switch down, grip down that sand wedge. Kind of bottomed out before, a bit skiddy, but it should be all right. Yeah, just, just kind of flicked underneath that one a little bit. Okay, last station, 55 yards. Back to the lob wedge. 55. Okay. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Right, guys. Not too bad, actually, in the end, that. So 44 points. So two targets there around the same distance. So 110, 115 yards, where I just couldn't quite figure out the type of shot that I was going to hit. Now, as soon as it gets up to 120, I'm fine, because that is basically half a pitching wedge. So it's that a little bit of a gray area. So it's using this type of data to go away and then say, okay, let's work on those weak parts. Let's strengthen that part of your game, come back to it, try and score the best that I can, and then make the test harder, make it harder, make it harder. It's all about making your practice difficult in a sense that you can just about attain the goal. You know, you're reaching for it, you're striving for it, and if you work hard, you can get there. If you make it too easy and you are just here, just hitting shot after shot after shot, like I said, to take that type of practice to the course is difficult. To take this practice to the course is easier because it's more of a competitive environment and it allows me to analyze my weaknesses much better. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully this again just gives you that bit of an insight on how you can alter your practice as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And we'll see you down here next time. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. Do need to say that. Please keep saying that. Okay, not smooth and uh, not as smooth as an ending as I uh, would have liked. Okay, bye. See you later.